Monday, June 13th, 2022. I'm Jonathan Lau, and this is 5 Minutes of Proof, a weekly analysis of the science behind ozone therapy. Today, let's take a look at an article entitled, Ozone Therapy Effects on Biomarkers and Lung Function in Asthma. It was introduced into the Archives of Medical Research in 2005. It comes to us from Havana, Cuba. Cuba. Um, so let's take a look at what they found out. Um, there's some interesting information in here that I want to get to because um, it really uh, highlights the difference between rectal insufflation and uh, major autohemotherapy a little bit, as well as some of the different dose um, kind of responses that you'll see. So they start by saying, we explore the hypothesis that systemic ozone therapy has a beneficial role in asthma by reducing IgE level and inflammatory mediators along with its positive influence on the antioxidant defense system. Um, so two groups were treated by, and this is important, ozone major autohemotherapy, MHT, and the other one with rectal insufflation. All three cycles uh, all received three cycles of treatment. Each cycle comprised 15 sessions. So we're talking about a pretty long amount of time that they did uh, these treatments for and that they followed this uh, these patients for. Each cycle comprised 15 sessions, five a week for MAHT using, so quite a, quite a significant number, pretty close together, using an ozone dose of four uh, milligrams, which it, they did at 20 micrograms per milliliter, and uh, 200 mLs of blood so in the first group, and then twice that in the second group. So they did 40 uh, micrograms per milliliter. So they just increased the concentration on that, did the same volume, 200 mLs, in the second group. And then uh, we're going to skip down a little bit. Each cycle of the third group comprised 20 sessions using an ozone dose of 10 uh, milligrams, so 50 microgram per milliliter and 200 mLs uh, of gas for rectal insufflation. So time between cycles was five or six months in all of those groups. And again, you had three cycles for each group. Um, so you had a total of, you know, maybe 18 months, um, 15 to 18 months uh, of treatment time here. So very significant amount of time that, that this was done for. Um, okay. So here you have some of the values that were before and after values um, of IgE and HLA. Uh, we're going to go down, though, and take a look at this chart here. Um, you'll notice, I think this is easier to see, um, that with the major autohemotherapy, the group that was the lower dose group, uh, not very significant in, in the uh, changes. Um, here, for major autohemotherapy, that was the higher dose group, uh, quite significant. Rectal insufflation, um, significant, but not as much as the major. So MAHT at a dosage of eight milligrams produced an IgE level of 61% and HLA expression of 57%, which was st statistically significant, significant decreases there. Okay. Another conclusion drawn from the results is that ozone therapy effect is dependent on the applied route and the ozone concentration. So we can't overlook that. I think that's really the big takeaway here when we look at ozone um, and how it may help with asthma. But there's a few other things. Um, I want to just take a look at this real quick. It is evident that MAHT at ozone dose of 8 milligrams induce the most powerful response in stimulating the glutathione antioxidant pathway. And that's something uh, we've talked about before, and you'll hear a lot when you look at ozone therapy research, followed by the response induced by rectal insufflation at ozone dose of 10 milligrams. MHT at 4 milligrams produce a mild response. It's important to point out that all groups of patients remarkably improve their oxidative stress condition. Um, so Maybe the lower dose MHT wasn't as powerful, but it still had an effect. Mechanism for immune system modulation is not yet totally proven. We can indirectly assume ozone therapy induced synthesis and release of cytokines. Okay, and they go more into detail on that um, if you want to take a look at this study. 
you are welcome to do that. In summary, our study corroborates the outstanding role of IgE and its direct relationship in the induction of oxidative stress and subsequent bronchial inflammation in allergic asthma patients. Moreover, we have proven the hypothesis that in these patients, systemic ozone therapy reduces IgE level and PBMC, HLA expression along with the antioxidant system induction. There you go. This has been 5 Minutes of Proof. We'll see you next week.